In today's video, we're going to perfect your F grace notes. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody. I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel, I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel. I also give Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. The F grace note, an often forgotten grace note, a very important grace note, however, for both your E doublings, which might well be the most common ornament in Highland bagpiping, as well as a number of Pibroch embellishments, including Dres, Adres, Dares, Cheteres, and so forth. So getting this guy under control can really help out many aspects of your piping. In the description below, there's a link to the PDF document we have here. So go ahead, print that out, put it on a tablet, have it in front of you so you can follow along. So to help get this rather difficult grace note under control, I came up with a two-page exercise here where we'll go over all of the various permutations that this grace note can occur, both in changing notes with it as well as separating notes with it. Now, to be honest, there's not many occasions where you need to actually change notes with an F grace note, but getting that motion under control builds control and dexterity in your top hand, which can be super important. And perhaps more so than any of my other grace note exercises, this one is super important to do on a set of pipes, be it a set of small pipes or the full highland pipes, because that middle finger, one, it doesn't want to move anyways, and two, when you're playing, your squeezing arm is also almost always the hand that's on the top of your chanter. So you have to move a finger that doesn't want to move while pressure is being applied on it by your squeezing arm. So getting this under control on a bag can be very important. In part one, we're going to be doing simple scales going up and down by a note at a time. And then we'll start skipping around by thirds or skipping notes. And we'll kind of go through all the various intervals that are possible. This is basically every combination you're going to find with F grace notes. And the F grace note can change or separate notes up to E. So low G, A, B, C, D, and E can all be either separated or changed with this F grace note. However, once you get to F, that finger is no longer available. We'd have to use a G grace note for that. And well, we have other exercises for the G grace note. In fact, you can find one of those, boom, right up there. To come in, we're gonna start with that F grace note in the air, closing it down right as we close to the low G. And then to do that note change to A, we're going to lift the pinky and the middle finger at the same time before briskly getting that middle finger back down. And when performing these F grace notes, we want to make sure we have the right amount of tension in our hands. If it's too loose, if you don't have enough tension, then the grace note's likely to be a little too big and bloopy. Obviously, too much tension, it might not even come out. You know, pinched and hard to control. There is a certain amount of tension. It's lighter than you might think, but it's certainly not nothing. We want to make sure that that closing motion is nice and snappy so we can get that ch sound out of the grace note. So with each of these changes, we wanna make sure we lift whatever fingers need to come up as well as the middle finger or F grace note as we start this change and then lower anything that needs to be lowered in closing it. I have a metronome here set at 72. We're gonna go ahead and try the first section of this document and see how it goes. So that was at 72 with the metronome. But when you first go through this, I probably wouldn't even try it with a metronome at first. Make sure you can get each one of these note changes cleanly and clearly. I've been working on my F grace notes for quite some time, and it still takes a bit of um, thinking to make sure that the proper grace note is moving when I want it to. If you haven't really worked on your F grace notes, it might take you a good few run throughs of this before you're ready to try it with a metronome at any speed. And if you start noticing too much kind of aching or soreness in your hand, give it a break for a second. There's no need to go through this whole document in one go and like have your hand cramp up. You're using a lot of muscles likely that you have not used in your hand and up your forearm. So again, if it starts feeling a little overly sore or crampy or tingly, even worse, stop, give it a rest, come back where you left off and keep going. 
Now let's try this F grace note in a context that is going to be found more often, especially in P rock embellishments, that is both changing and separating notes with an F grace note. So every grace note down here is an F. This middle finger is about to get a lot of work. And to note, this is the same sequence of notes we did in the first section. We're just breaking the notes evenly into two this time. Moving on to the next exercise, same sequence of notes. You'll kind of see they're all the same sequence of notes, but this time we are doing them in a pointed rhythm. So the first note is going to be long and the second note is going to be short with that repeated through the whole exercise. I'm starting to feel that too. This is a tough exercise. You're never gonna run into this many F grace notes, but we have to make up for lost time, people. You know me, G grace notes we've played, E grace notes we've played, D grace notes we've played down here, a ton. How many F grace notes? Well, more than a few if you've been playing some E doublings or some of those P rock embellishments, but I promise you, it's nowhere near as many and we need to get the exercise into that finger so it can be just as dexterous as the rest of them. So to finish up here, we're going to go to repeated snap notes. So this time the first note will be short and the second note long. Again, it's just another way of making sure that we have this grace note under control. Again, if 72 is too quick, by all means, slow it down or don't even use the metronome when you first start. Focus more on making sure your grace notes are clean and that you're getting the rhythms approximately right, meaning the short notes are short, long notes are long. But yeah, start getting that F grace note working and your Krunluas, your Dres, your E doublings, all of these ornaments that can be so important to your piping are gonna start getting way, way better sooner than you might think. And if you've made the transition either to a mouth blown small pipe or are already playing the Highland pipes, try all of these exercises on one of those instruments as well so you can kind of feel how to keep that F grace note under control while keeping that entire squeezing, you know, process occurring. It's a lot to take in, it's a lot to do, it can be rather difficult. This isn't gonna fix itself overnight, but F grace notes are way more important than you might think, especially again, if you plan on moving on to P rock. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you got something out of this video, please think about giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. A special shout out to my Patreon members. You'll see their names now scrolling up. These are folks that support the channel on a monthly basis. I'd love to add your name to this list. Seriously, this channel and all these videos wouldn't be possible without these fine folks. So thank you so much for the support, people. 
I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see right here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have bagpipe themed merchandise like this prescription bagpipe mug here, as well as this Highland bagpipe ornament tree. But I also have Command Your Bagpipe hoodies and t-shirts and the bagpipes are my job line of products. So let the world know that you command your bagpipe. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody. I'm Matt Willis and until next time, cheers.